Hello, this is Debbie Kay with the League of Women Voters of Portland, and you are watching the Video Voters Guide. We're here with the support of Metro East Community Media to talk with candidates running in the May 2020 primary election. With me today is Aquiles Montas, running for Portland City Commissioner, position two. Welcome, Aquiles. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Please tell us a little about yourself. There are many candidates running for this office. What do you bring to it? Uh, well, I bring a lot of uh, experience, leadership uh, with uh, both um, government and private uh, work experience. I am an immigrant from the Dominican Republic. Uh, when I moved to Portland, I didn't speak English. Uh, finished uh, two years at high school at Grand High School. Uh, Graduated from Portland State University in Business Administration and Marketing and have worked for the Portland Public Schools for over 12 years, then private. Uh, also an um, uh, entrepreneur. I opened a restaurant, uh, lunch a restaurant before, nightclub. And uh, recently I've been more in the education as a family resource coordinator, a program uh, director for curriculum for after school programs. Thank you. The COVID-19 pandemic and the resulting devastation of small business, city employee layoffs and housing displacement will be with us for some time. How would you seek to address the fallout, including the reduction of city revenue? That is uh, one that is definitely in our mind, um, especially with my experience. Uh, Again, searching for all the federal governments that are available, programs, uh, working with all the banks, um, especially coordinating with the local banks, the smaller one, to make it quicker, more accessible for businesses to uh, get their funding, um, their loans, and uh, coordinating again with all the business, smaller businesses, organization here within the city and bring them in to find out what are their needs. That's something that has been lacking, coordination uh, from them. Okay, thank you. If we maintain our current government structure, what city bureau would you want to oversee and why? I think I believe a public service, um, um, the police, uh, because there has been a lack of uh, 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 trust in the system with the city. Uh, there's been a lack of uh, uh, order that could be maintained, bring back, uh, bringing the neighborhood associations, again, bringing uh, businesses, bringing city groups to be able to um, bring back order to what Portland used to be. Thank you. How would you address the public's significant concerns about police and community relations, use of deadly force, and officer accountability? Um, basically, again, collaborating with all the organizations, bringing um, all representatives from all the city areas to be able to gather all the information inputs especially from a lot of the uh, minorities uh, that have not been at the table being able to bring them in and make meetings more of a, a saturday instead of a weeknights that uh, have been less accessible for people to really be included and be able to um, include in the table, in the round table, also all the uh, nonprofits and all the uh, neighborhood association, like I said before, or like the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, for example, the Asian uh, Association, so the Filipino Association, many of those. Thank you. And for parks, our city's park system faces very serious financial challenges. 
and even more so since the closures caused by the pandemic. What ideas do you have for securing the financial stability of our well-loved park system? Uh, that's a perfect one. And because I'm also entertainer, um, the Portland Park are being one of my main um, things in my priorities for city to be uh, have a, a stable uh, funding. Um, especially when I play music in the summer around the city parks and it's really, um, I seen the decline of concerts, the uh, condition of parks. So really I would like to collaborate with bringing in private businesses, local big companies, Nike, Intel, Adidas, to be able to, to uh, have them uh, bring in some uh, funding that will be stable uh, through that, not just counting on just the city uh, uh, funding, but bringing more uh, private and doing a lot of uh, fundraiser, which I'm also done a lot of that. Thank you. We have a little bit of time left. What would you like to talk about? I would like to talk about a couple of things. Um, homelessness, that the city continue to fail to make uh, real progress on it because they are too busy with too many other things within their uh, responsibilities. I'm not targeting that as a number one issue. I would like to bring that uh, to separate them because the homelessness are bunched into a one package and there's reasons, there are many different reasons. There's metal, uh, mental, there's uh, drugs, alcohol, abuse, and I think they need to be separated into different uh, buildings to be able for them to uh, really being able to fix it. And then of course the housing um, uh, that is out of reach, I always ask the city official because their number one thing that's affordable. And I always ask, what do you think is affordable? And they'll come up, well, you know, incomes of 89, 80,000. And said, that is too much. I wonder why people can't afford it. So we need to really have uh, the county, metro, city of Portland uh, built some uh, public housing like many other states have them like. Uh, Florida has uh, public housing that are for low income, for fixed income families, uh, for retired people that only have a five or six hundred dollars because the city continued to, um, what's the word, uh, put in more money to, like if, for example, if, if you can only afford 200 and they will kick in the other thousand dollars for the rent and that's that doesn't work thank you i'm gonna have to invite you to stop now but it's been a pleasure talking with you this has been video voters guide the primary election is tuesday may 19th please be an informed voter also visit vote411.org to learn more about the candidates and ballot measures on your ballot and exercise your right to vote Thank you for watching.